Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys a behind the scenes look at my YouTube slash Harry Potter collection room. Now I do want to say that I am incredibly grateful to have this space in my home where I can relax and where I can create. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So when I enter the room, the first thing that I have here to my right is my desk and gaming PC setup. Now I used to use this area a lot more back when I was working from home full time, but we have since gone back to the office full time, so I don't really get to spend a lot of time here. Now I have thought of maybe turning this into an editing area for my videos, but I do have to see if my editing program will run on this computer because currently I do use my MacBook Pro. Um, but I do have this just in case I ever decide to like either like there's a game that I want to play or something like that. And it's just a nice little area to have and to spend some time whenever I need to get some work done. And then here to the left, I have um, some of the things that came in this month's wizarding trunk. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep these. I might end up selling some of them on Mercari. I've never sold anything on there, so I have to figure out how that all works. But honestly, I just can't end up keeping everything one because some of the things I just don't know what to do with them, like this tea towel and the stickers and then some other things. It's just I don't want to fill my shelves with a lot of little knickknacks and trinkets and stuff. So that's why they're here so that I can decide what I want to do or if I have to take pictures of them to post them on the Mercari website. And then here I have this um, microphone stand, which I used to use when I had my setup back in the day in the other office. But I have since moved into this room because it is a lot bigger and a lot brighter and I haven't set up anything to record where it's like permanent. I do move things around now depending on what I need to record. So it's just been like hanging around there. And then here on the top of this shelf, the first thing that I have is this Rowena Ravenclaw artwork that came with my 20th anniversary Ravenclaw special edition book set. Now, each one of the book sets comes with its pertaining house founder artwork. And in my case, I decided to frame mine and put it up on my shelves. And then here I have this Hogwarts crest. I think I got this one at Universal Studios on our first trip. They do have one for each one of the houses, but I decided to get the Hogwarts one so that I did have something representing all of the houses rather than just have my own. You can get these at the Wizarding World in Universal and you can also get these at Noble Collection, like their website. And then here I have this Halloween mask, which I got at Target this past Halloween and I used it for trick-or-treating this year. And then I have my Ollivander replica wand boxes, which I love to keep. And I have them all on this shelf right here. Here I have this fake plant because back in the day, for some reason, I could not figure out how to keep a plant alive. So most of the plants I would get were all plastic, but I have gotten better since then and transitioned into getting actual like real plants for my decor. And then here we have this little puff skin that came in the wizarding trunk, this box and his little adoption certificate that goes along with him. And back here I have the My Adventure book, which is a replica of the adventure book that Ellie has in the movie Up, where her and Carl record all their special moments. And I have that and we use it to like scrapbook some of our vacations. Um, it's really, really special. I love it so much. I do love that movie a lot. And here I have these little fake sunflowers, which I got as part of like a bow and a gift last year. And I love sunflowers, so I kept them. Here I have one of the chocolate box replicas that you can get at Universal Studios. This one is the one that is made of tin. So it comes with five different chocolate frog cards. You get one for each one of the house founders and you get Albus Dumbledore's card. And then back here, I have two of the magical creature pages that came in the wizarding trunk. I just put them there for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them. And then I have this Funko Pop of Neville Longbottom in front of Honey Dukes. I believe I got this one at Target. 
And here I have a couple treats from the Wizarding World, which are meant to replicate like things you can get at Honey Dukes. And I have my Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans in the tin. And I have this You Know Poo, which actually came with different candy inside, but we have since ate that candy and I have refilled it with just regular M&Ms. And down here I have my potions shelf or what is the start of my potions shelf. And I have this little LED sign that says always in reference to Severus Snape. And I have Severus Snape's or Lily Potter's Patronus here, the little doe. This one also came from the wizarding trunk. And here I have um, some other little things that came from the wizarding trunk. Now this one, this little death guy just came in this month's box. And I know I said I wouldn't put him in my shelves, but I think he kind of looks good here. So I might end up keeping him, not sure yet. And I have the key to Lestrange's um, vault in Gringotts. And we got this little, um, like, uh, what is it called? <laughs> oh my God. Um, uh, I forgot what this is called. This little balance thing <laughs> for you to weigh your ingredients um so we got that one also from a wizarding trunk and then I had bought this one here with the intention of making like a DIY potion but it has just sat empty on my shelves forever and then here we have this potions master little guidebook which is actually a little box where you can put different pages and stuff inside of it and then to this side, I have some of the potions that I do have. I have a love potion and some potion ingredients that have come in the wizarding trunk, one of their DIY little kits and one DIY that I did on my own. And then they we got sent like one of their little memory vials as well. That's probably one of my favorite ones that I have. And then down on these bottom shelves, I really just have some random boxes of some things that I'm not sure why I have them there and not with every other box that I have. But here I have my little portable record player and some of the records that I own. My first ever DSLR camera with an extra lens and one of the wizarding trunks boxes because i really like the decoration on this box specifically and then i also have this right here which are the spoons that are part of that set like that tea set that they're doing i don't know if i'm gonna keep those i do like them but i don't have any intentions on collecting the actual set altogether because it's not my style i guess so I don't know if it's worth me keeping the spoons on their own, so I might end up selling those. Then on this second shelf, the first thing that I have is my huge Harry Potter Funko Pop. Um, he lives there on the top of this shelf. And then on this shelf here, I have this nine and three quarter sign, which I got as a gift. Um, and I haven't put it back up ever since taking it down when I moved into this office, so I have to do that. And this little owl came along with that sign. And then back here, I have this replica of the Quibbler magazine or like the artwork of the Quibbler magazine. I do have to find a frame for it so that I can put it on my wall, but I haven't found the perfect frame where it'll fit without cutting some of it off. So I have to figure out what size frame would fit this best. And here I have this mug, which you can get at the Wizarding World when you purchase a butterbeer for an extra cost. There, I don't think there's really any benefit to having it other than just having it. Um, but I bought it because I just thought it was cute. And then here I have some of the books that I have gotten. These I got at Target. This is like a little three book set of the Hogwarts Library and you get Tales of Beetle the Bard, Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them and Quidditch Through the Years. And then here I got this book, which I got this one at, I wanna say five and below for like $5. And it's an unofficial Harry Potter spell book. And it's really, really cool because it has like all the spells. It tells you how to do the movement of the hands. And it kind of explains like what the spell does. So it's really cool. I like it. And then here I have Tom Felton's book, which I started to read. And honestly, I have not finished it. I then started reading other things and it's just been here waiting for me to pick it back up. And then here I have the Magic of Mina Lima book, which 
if you haven't seen it, is a book that talks about um, the whole creative process of the design studio of Mina Lima when they were invited to design things for the movies. And then moving down on this shelf, I have probably one of my most favorite book sets that I have so far. This one is a paperback Portuguese edition of the Harry Potter books. Now these have the artwork that is on the 20th anniversary tie set. I initially bought this one because I didn't think I was going to be able to get my hands on that one. So I purchased this one off of eBay. This is probably one of the most beautiful artwork that I have ever seen for the Harry Potter books. I would dare to say it's probably my favorite. And then here, back here, I have some more of the paper products that come in the wizarding trunk. I might find frames for some of these. I might end up selling some of these, so I don't know yet. But here I have my replica of the Time Turner, Hermione's Time Turner. And this one I got from Noble Collections. And I also have this little Funko Pop of Neville with his little frog Trevor there on his little hands. So he is adorable. And then moving down, I have a replica of the ear that the twins used to listen in on the conversation of the order in the movie, The Order of the Phoenix. I did get this one at the Wizarding World along with this detonator. Now this one does also come in a box. I just decided to display it outside of the box, but I think I will be moving it into its box because it does get very dusty here on the shelves when it's not in its box. And then I have here this bookend of the Weasley's Puking Pastel Girl. Now this one is intended to be a bookend and to be displayed on the side, but I feel that when you put her on the side, you can't really appreciate all the detail of her. So I decided to just display her front facing as its own individual thing. And then here we have this shrunken head replica, which we got in one of the wizarding trunks. Now, initially, this was one of the things that I didn't think I would keep, but I've just put it here on my shelves for the longest time and I've just kept it here. And then moving down, I have this... Um, Dumbledore Funko Pop. Now these are like the medium size ones. They're not as big as my Harry one, but they're not as small as the other ones, like the little ones. There are versions of these that do come in the regular Funko Pop size, but these are quite bigger than those. And I have my Albus Dumbledore and then I have my Voldemort one. And then here to the bottom, I have Two of the wands that you can get as like mystery wands from the Noble Collection. And I have this other Funko Pop, which is Hagrid. And they're all in Hagrid's hut. And Hagrid has um, Norbert's egg in his hand. And then we have Harry and Ron sitting on this little bench, which they look adorable. And Hermione just over here standing by Hagrid. So this one I've kept in the box because I just think it looks really nice that way. And I've displayed it that way for the longest. And then down here, I do have my set of A Court of Thorns and Roses, like the series. Book five is in my room because that's currently what I am reading now and I am loving it. I don't know if anybody else that is subscribed to my channel reads these books or are interested in this, but it's really, really good. It's not intended for young readers, so um, FYI on that, but I am loving that series. And then here I have my Harry Potter English version, like American version of the books in paperback. And this was the first set I ever bought. And it's the set that we use to read whenever we do want to read the stories. So starting on my next shelf, the first thing that I have here is my replica of the Marauders map. This one you can get on the Noble Collection website. I did get mine on Amazon from the Noble Collection, but through the Amazon website and I had no issues with it. I do really like it. It's super nice, but it's so big it doesn't really fit on my shelves. And then here I have these little journals or notebooks that you can get um, in the Wizarding World. Now these are meant to replicate some of the books that are in the movies. And I have one more, but I have it in my work bag. And then this here is a wax set that I purchased from Amazon this Christmas because I wanted to wrap 
our gifts this year like if they were owl posts so we got um this little wax seal kit and then this one here is a purse that i got from the wizarding world it's meant to replicate the howler that molly sends um ron in the chamber of secrets and it's really nice because it does have the message on the inside if you open this flap right here i've used it a couple of times but it mainly lives on my shelves and then going down this one is another one of my favorite books that i have in my collection this is the german edition it's like a special edition that they launched i think it was last year and it has all eight books into one book the pages are super super thin but i think this is just beautiful now obviously i can't read it because i do not know german but i think it's a great addition to my collection and then here i have the ravenclaw diadem from the noble collection in its box i have a video of this one like the unboxing of this piece so i'll go ahead and link it down below and then here i just have a couple of crystals that i got from a friend at work and i put them right there because i thought they were nice so moving down we have this jim k illustrated edition of the harry potter books now this one is just from book one through five after book five jim k decided he was going to take a step back for his mental health and i don't know if we're going to be able to get a book um six and seven Hopefully we do, but of course, you know, his mental health is a priority. So if we do end up getting just one to five, then I guess that is where, we're, where, where we will end that series. But it is a beautiful series. It is my husband's favorite edition of the books. And then here I have the Bubble Boy, which goes along with my Puking Pastel Girl. This one is also from Noble Collection. They are not sold as a pair. You do have to buy them each one individually, but um, they're intended to be like one bookend of each side. And then here I have this other um, purse from the Wizarding World. This one is their chocolate frog version of the purses. And I really like this one. I have used it as well, but again, I do display it on my shelf when it's not in use um it's kind of weird because not a lot fits in it because of the shape that it has so it's kind of like one of those purses where you can just like hold a couple of things i mean my phone doesn't even fit in it so it's just like a novelty to have and then here i have yet another fake plant and this one is probably one of my if not my favorite book sets of all the books that i own now this one is the 20th anniversary special edition in Thai. This has to be by far one of my most favorite artworks ever. It is the same artwork as the Portuguese version. And like I said before, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to ever get my hands on this book set. I looked for so long. And when I had just given up hope, I purchased the Portuguese paperback edition because it did have the same artwork and then like a couple of weeks later i was able to purchase this one so i'm glad to have both of them but this one is just amazing i have an entire um, video on this one because even the like the outer case opens up and it turns into like this castle thing it's just amazing um so it is one of my favorite favorite pieces in my collection i don't think i would ever get rid of this one but it is right here on my shelves and then down here i just have like my animal crossing which is what i'm playing now on my um nintendo switch and my nintendo switch base which is from animal crossing another fake plant shocker and then my sewing machine now up here i have hagrid's wand this one i haven't found a great way to display it yet but it lives up there along with its very very large box this shelf right here is empty um i used to not have so many bookshelves but then i upgraded to four instead of two that's why a lot of this space is still vacant but ready for more books and more replicas now here i have another one of my favorite editions of the harry potter books this one are the mina lima edition these are beautiful as well very interactive 
I would say if I was ever to give someone a Harry Potter book or a Harry, like a Harry Potter series, um, it would definitely probably be this one because it's just so beautiful, so interactive. They are now selling this, like these three books as a set. Um, I just recently saw it, but in my case, I have purchased them individually. Now here we have this magical creatures replica of Dobby. We got this one at the Wizarding World, but you can get this one along with a ton of other magical creatures from the Noble Collections website. I have this little replica here of the Ford Anglia that comes with this little Harry and I love it. I love the Ford Anglia. I've always thought that if I could ever get my hands like on like a real Ford Anglia and like restore it it would be amazing i have heard though it's very expensive and then here we have another funko pop those medium size funko pops this one is dobby now this one was released quite a while ago i didn't get my hands on it i did find it when someone was selling it on mercari so i bought it from there and i'm so glad to have him in my collection and then we have this little sign here that says remember um to speak clearly in reference to the um flu powder scene in chamber of secrets it came in the wizarding trunk not sure if i'm going to keep it but it lives there for now then down here we have my little mini trunk which i got from the harry potter shop online and i have these replicas of the hogwarts express tickets this one i got from the harry potter shop these i got from the universal studios um, shops and you do get two of them you get the one from London to Hogwarts and from Hogwarts to London they do have a version uh, bigger of this trunk on their um, like Harry Potter shop online which is even nicer someday I will end up getting that one but for now I do have this small one which you can use as a purse if you wanted to it does come with the strap I don't tend to do that I just keep it here on my shelves and then I have this other Funko Pop of Harry while he is looking for platform nine and three quarters in the Philosopher's Stone. And then back here, when I did get the mini trunk, I did also purchase my Hogwarts letter. It does come with a personalized letter saying like you've been accepted into the school. And then you also get like a list of the things that you will need for the school year. It comes with the envelope and it does come with a wax seal. Now the wax seal is not wax. It's actually plastic. Um, and so, and it doesn't like, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. It has a little place there for you to keep it. Now here I have the replica of the sorcerer or the philosopher's stone, whatever you call it. The little thing here says sorcerer's stone. Um, I wish it did say philosopher's stone, but Anyhow, um, I got this one off of the Noble Collection website and it's beautiful. It came really well packaged. So they, I love the way that they take care of what they're going to send. So that one is that. And then here I have my 20th edition, like the 20th anniversary Ravenclaw book set. This is the one that I was saying comes with the founder artwork and I have it displayed here. Now the books go inside the box, but I have them displayed separately so that you can see the books and not just the box. And then I have here a replica of Luna Lovegood's um, Spectro Specs. I got these on Amazon. And then I have this little snow globe here that has the Bobaton's um, carriage inside. I got this one off of a Wizarding Trunk subscription box. And I just put it there and that's kind of where it's lived since then. Now moving down to the last two shelves of this bookshelf, I have here my Honey Dukes inspired lounge fly bag, which I got in our most recent trip to Universal. I love the colors. It's so bright. It's so fun. And then I have a couple of lounge flies that are not Harry Potter. This one is mermaid, like Little Mermaid themed. I got this one from our most recent cruise. And I have this one, which my husband got for me years and years ago um, from Toy Story. And then we have, I have this one here that is from the movie Up because my husband knows that I love that movie. 
and I just think their love story is so beautiful. So he got me that one as well. So those live on that bottom shelf. So here on this wall, I have my Ollivander's wand stands. Now this sign is from Spirit Halloween. My husband found it for me because he knew I wanted it and we couldn't find it anywhere. So he ended up finding it at some Spirit Halloween, which is not even close to where we live. But he is so sweet and he went and got it for me because he knew how much I wanted it. And I decided to make a wand stand with it because I thought it would be very much on theme. Now here I have displayed all the wands that I have gotten either from Barnes and Nobles, Noble Collection, or The Wizarding World. And then I have this one wand here that is from The Wizarding Trunk. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I will figure that out later. And then here, just to give you guys like a pan of the room, I have this little table here where I have like some writing paper, pencil. I have this little magazine which is inspired on the Quibbler from the movies. It's called The Enchanter. It does come, I believe, in the quarterly wizarding trunk subscription box so if you're interested in that that is where you can get a version of the enchanter and it just lives on this little table i usually have whatever book i am reading at the moment and i have a candle and this plant ta-da is actually not a fake plant it is actually a real plant it doesn't always live on this table because i have it in my kitchen where it can get a lot more um lights come in but I did purchase it with the intention of keeping it on this table and then going around this is just a lamp that I had for the longest time and here I have my little reading corner or my little relaxing corner my husband got me this sofa which is perfect for this area not too big not too small super cute and I just like to lounge here and read a book or listen to music or just spend some alone time whenever I feel like I need to recharge. Now this blanket here is Patronus themed. This one is also from Spirit Halloween. I believe he got it the same day he found the Ollivanders sign. So he got me the sign and he got me this little throw blanket. It's super soft, super warm. I love it so, so much. And then here, finally, I just have a couple of things that I use to record my videos, like my camera tripod, the light that sometimes lights my backgrounds, and this softbox light that I use whenever I'm recording videos. And then here, there's just like a closet full of boxes and boxes of the things that I have purchased because for some reason, I don't like to throw away the boxes. I always think it's nice to keep them in case I ever decide to sell anything in my collection, I will have the original box. Now I don't have the original box for everything, especially some of the um, like older things that I have, but for the most part, I do have almost all the boxes. And then here is like the wizarding trunk box that we got just recently and this little table, which is what I have been using to prop stuff up in front of me when I am recording. So here's the last look of the room and how it all comes together. And I just want to say that I am so incredibly grateful to have this area and this space for myself so that I can collect the things that I love and so that I can create these videos for you guys. Let me know what kind of things you guys like to collect. It doesn't necessarily have to be Harry Potter. Um, I would actually love to know what other things you guys are interested other than Harry Potter. But yeah, overall, this is what I am working with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.